We always approach a patient going through A, B, C. But there is one exception to this where we do C, A, B. Circulation, then airway and breathing. And that's in the case of catastrophic bleeding, when there is an amputation of a limb or the penetration of an artery. In that case, we have to stop the bleeding or the patient will bleed to death before we ever manage to sort the airway. What we use in order to do this is a tourniquet, and this is one example of the tourniquets that we use. This one is called the Combat Application Tourniquet. So, we apply this as close to the site of bleeding as possible. Remember, everything below the tourniquet will be lost because we are going to cut the blood supply off completely. Fasten the tourniquet, it then has Velcro to keep it together, and then twist the windlass until the bleeding stops. At that stage, you pop it under there just to hold it in place. There's a spot here to mark the time that you put the tourniquet on, and it's also normal to put a T on the forehead so that it's clear to everybody that there is a tourniquet on the patient.